Hey, up viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Struggist. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, the summertime mod. This is episode 3 now. Continuing on, of course, with this fan made uh, modification for the aforementioned game. Loving it so far, it's very interesting. We've had the little acronym, acronym game that we've uh, played previously in the last episode. I've also noticed, um, just as of the moment when I record this, the first episode has gone live um, on the channel, and I have noticed that there are. There is copyright music in this mod. You're actually hearing one of the tracks right now that um, got my video claimed. Didn't get it blocked though, fortunately. That's the thing, because my channel's not monetized. Although, you know, there are, okay, you know, occasionally I do get sort of third party content ID claims from YouTube. Luckily, it doesn't result in my videos being blocked. I suppose if my channel was monetized, that would be slightly different then, wouldn't it? Okay, we're just going to continue on, throw ourselves back in. Hair Gloop Vac is here, and he's uh, going to take things away. My shopping trip is as straightforward as a tutorial mission. Sayori literally points to the item I was looking for, but I have the exact amount I needed to pay, ah. Uh. I have to give it to her. This was kind of fun. Not just that, she made my whole day so much better than what I was expecting. If she didn't invite me to the meeting, I would probably be sitting at home immersed in another world. Something that's not real, but feels more rewarding, yeah. I'm going to thank her for this. Maybe I can even pay her back as a favour and invite her to do something cool like we used to. Do it. Hair gloop fact. We get off the bus at our street. As we walk towards her house, she slows down and has her eyes locked on the ground in front of her. We here. You look like you could do some rest. Are you sleeping enough, Sayori? Eh, hey, no, but that's one of my hobbies, eh? Hey. Either she's really tired, or there's something behind that forced laughter. I'll take option C. I can't tell in this case. Is there something I wanted to tell you, Sayori? Uh, yeah? Thanks for inviting me to your club meetup. It was a lot of fun, yeah. More fun than invading Poland. Oh, that. I didn't really invite you, but I'm glad you enjoyed hanging out with the other girls, eh? Hey. I guess so, yeah. I think Monica is a pretty cool girl. She leads the... Sorry, what, what's with all the spelling things going on here? The typos? Monica without a capital M. She without a capital S. Literature club. And doesn't afraid of anything. Sorry, was this section written by a completely different writer to the previous one? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> it's a joke, alright. Is disregarding grammar a sign of brushing off a topic? It's not about them, really. I enjoyed it because I got to spend some time with you again. Eh? So yeah, if you'd like to go and have some fun on... Eh, yeah, so very much, yeah. I didn't even say on which day, yeah. I didn't even think of a day. What am I saying? Oh, sorry. Which days are you available on? I don't know about you, yeah, but I'm free tomorrow. I'll get ready in the morning and wait for you to come over. A triumphal music. Hold up. I didn't even tell you where we're going over time, but... Uh, shh, it doesn't matter. I trust you wanted this one, hey, glue fuck. Waha. If you say so, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, Sayori. Bye. She storms through the gates of her house, apparently. She storms through the gates of her house as if she just found out she won the lottery. I shake my head with an amused smile on my face. She has the same bubbly personality as that I liked her for. I avoid how she'll handle life later on, yeah. No, I should heed her advice. I shouldn't overthink it. I'm glad she's so beat once the other club members seem to like her as well. I think I made an okay impression on them. Maybe I'll even get to see them another time. Maybe even get to know them better. Who knows, yeah. Natsuki, who looks as cute as her cupcakes. That's just like the first game again. Of <laughs> the first game? The, uh, the, the, the base game, even. Where it comes up with all the girls. Yuri, who's got a handful of interesting personality traits. And Monica, who's completely out of my league. No, don't say that. We're aiming for either Monica or Sayori here, because you know me. Sayori was my favourite, and, you know, I've admitted already that I kind of did like Monica, even though she was the antagonist. I think. Daydreaming aside, I have to figure out what we are going to do tomorrow with Sayori. Go to the pool. Let's have some proper swimsuit fan service. Tuesday, ladies and gents. Wow, that was a nice little <laughs> transition. It's a brand new day, ah. Not really, it's just Tuesday, but it can still be a good one. I look at my clock to check the time. It's 11 past 9, but I'm in no hurry. 
After making a cup of coffee, I head back to my room. Yesterday, I thought of a place I could take Sayori to. I have some fond memories of the two of us roaming around that part of the town. So this one time, she nearly fell into water. I caught her, but I lost my balance and got wet instead of her. That's awkward to think about. Where, where are you talking about here? Are we talking about, I don't know, the riverside or something? Oh, no, I have no idea. We'll see. If I take off my shirt at this age, it'll probably make both of us uncomfortable. I look through my clothes and think of what there for a moment. Not that I'm going out of my way to impress her, but I do think I should put on my German uniform and go and, you know... <laughs> no. <laughs> where am I going with that? <laughs> but it doesn't hurt to look decent now and then, right? All dressed up, I check if I've got everything I need before leaving. Of course you do. The familiar feeling of walking down a street vanishes as I stop in front of some, 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 some house. We used to visit each other all the time. I remember how happy she was to see me after I went away with my parents for a week or two. Even among the other kids, I never experienced anybody being so overjoyed to see me. Since entering each other's house was accepted between us, I just assumed she'd be fine if I came in without ringing the bell or knocking ya. Yeah. After entering the house, only silence greets me. Now, don't do this to me, please. <laughs> we had, we had a horrible moment in the base game, of course, where we knew what was going to happen. We got into the house, we got upstairs, and she was dead. <laughs> please don't go in that direction. It won't be, will it? Because it'll be something. It'll be leading me on. That's what it's doing. I'll, I'll bet you. I call out to her, yeah, Sayori. Is she still sleeping? She said she'll be ready by the time I arrive. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on the, on the door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. Is it? No. No, it can't be going down that route, can it? There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room. like This is, this is the exact same dialogue from the game when you're just about to walk in on Sayori's suicide. Spoilers. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But well, she really leaves me no choice. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I knew I knew it wasn't gonna go there. I wasn't expecting that though. <laughs> I gotcha. So it tackles me with such force that I nearly fall over. I can't complain, so a hug from her is a welcome surprise. She was the first to let go. It looks like she's ready to go and was just waiting for this moment. Hey, are you ready, Herr Gloopvac? Yeah. I said, are you ready? I'm ready. I can't hear you. I'm ready, ah. Huh? Schweinund. Oh, I let her go. That's a <laughs> very wide-eyed expression. Whoop, pff, Jesus. Sorry, Rosh Sayori rushes to the entrance and waits for me outside by the open door. I feel like I'm taking an excited dog for a walk. An excited hunt, my own hunt, that I'm very fond of, that is. Gotta sneak in those German words. Whoa, hey, whoa. See how it did it twice, then. Like she was kind of getting excited. Hey, oh, where we going? You'll see you soon enough, yeah. All I'll say is that we've been there before. <laughs> wow, okay. Hey, please, tell me it's not the dentist. Oh, silly girl. Why will we go there, yeah? Hey, because it's a place we went to get there, yeah. If people had soundtracks to their lives, yours would be a list of laugh tracks. Mine, however, would be the horse vessel. No, <laughs> I was going to say the horse vessel lead. Should we say the panzer lead instead? Hey. We walk through the streets of our neighbourhood, and our conversation trails toward our separate experiences in schools this year. Anyway, did you manage to raise your grades? Last I remember you for telling me about getting bad grades for assignments, yeah? Yeah, but my grades have got the better. I'm back then, I might have run out of time while writing some of them. But don't worry, there's a good reason for that. I leave my assignments to the last minute, because the older, therefore the wiser I will be. The palm of my hand firmly connects with my forehead. we are almost at the park, I want to race to it. Uh, yes. It's only about a hundred steps from here, but I managed to cram in some teasing before we get there. You know what you are? A running gag! She starts giggling just enough for me to get ahead and arrive at first place. Ah. I love the CGs. Very nice, isn't it? Sorry, slightly panting as she crosses the imaginary finish line. Ha ah, ah, ha, I'm not a gag, a gloop fuck. I'm a real human being. Oh, Sayori. This is why we like you. They both laugh at each other as we regain our composure. I feel a wave of nostalgia wash through me as we're walking in the, into the park. So many memories of the two of us playing around here and by the river. 
The ridge on open air of the parks is covered with bright green grass, the kind on which you can comfortably lie down. Hey, this looks like the ideal place for us. Let me just whip it out and we can pass it between the two of us. What are we talking about whipping what out now? Hmm? Sayori reaches into her bag and pulls out a frisbee. Okay, gonna play some frisbee. Nice, nice choice. Hey, I wanna go first. Mm, do I want to be the first? Mm, do I let her go first? No, we'll be gentlemanly. I'll let you have the first move, yeah. Just be careful how you hold it. Yes. Don't worry, I've been practicing. The weather is perfect for playing out in the open. There are just enough clouds to give some variety through the blue sky. A light breeze cools us down, while the shining sun keeps us warm. It's almost poetic how well this combination meshes with the game I'm playing. Running after the frisbee makes my heart beat faster, while looking at Sayori's bright smile calms my soul like nothing else I can think of right now. As we're exchanging it between us, our eyes occasionally lock onto each other's. Onto the others, even. Her eyes have a glow to them that I don't recall seeing before. Is she allergic to something? We've been playing for about 15 minutes now. I'm getting tired of throwing it away and decide to keep it once I have it. Hey, aren't you going to throw it back? Shaking my head, I approach Sayori. Let's rest a bit, okay? Okay. That wasn't really a very Mario S voice, but whatever. With that, she lies down on the grass and spreads her, uh, spreads her arms beside her. Closing her eyes, she lets out an almost comedic sigh. Ah! I sit down next to her, yeah. She's just lying there without saying anything. It feels awkward to just look over her like this, so I lie down about an arm's length away from her. Generic anime clouds right there. Hey, dear sunshine. Is she talking to me? That's not something she would say to me. This is the poem, or one of the poems that she wrote, isn't it? The one that ended in I Want Breakfast, whatever it is. I remember it, ladies and gents. Hey, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of my bed. Uh, making me rub the sleep over my eyes. Yep, that is the poem. I remember it. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you... She goes silent again. A minute passes as I wait for her to continue. Was that a poem? Hey, ha, I wrote it. I liked it, yeah. Is that all of it? No. I just forgot the other half. Memory not serving you well. Hey, I guess I'm remembering other things. Do you remember how your voodoo's grab my hand and guide us toward the river? We spend our days making all sorts of contraptions with sticks and rocks. Yeah, I can't remember what we actually made, but I remember having a ton of fun together. Do you remember that one time you fell in the river? Hey, when I fell in there, I thought I was going to die. But you came and saved me. We were literally a few steps from the shoreline. Hey, that's not the point. Uh, I felt I could count on you. Even if I was a burden, you were there for me. Uh. The remaining choice is two. What? I care about how your life will go. Since the day we met, we had so many adventures together. Oh, I feel like... Mm, right. Oh god, sorry, just not my microphone. Okay, I feel like this is an important choice. When it, when it says remaining choices, that mean I just get to pick one from here and then there's going to be another choice later on? Or does it give me an opportunity to maybe pick two things from here? Okay, right, hold on. I'm going to save right there in case we decide to... I don't know, in case we fuck up and decide to come back to it. Hmm. I care about how your life will go. We had so many adventures together since the day we met. Hmm. Um, uh, I'm going to go with the third one. I don't know why. I feel like mm, maybe if we're going to go down the Sayori route, maybe, you know, this is kind of hinting long term stuff. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care about how your life will go. It's because I care about what happens to you. Just one more year and we're out of high school, yeah? Hey, yeah, it's a funny how time flies by. You look away for what it seems like a moment, it's all gone. Like a jar of a cookies. Hey, yeah. 
It's not so typical of her, thinking of her Tommy even been talking about such a serious subject, yeah. But I feel the need to bring this conversation back on track. Life isn't all fun and games, Sayori. I'm really worried about how you're going to handle life after high school. Getting okay grades and reading books isn't all you'll need, you know. Hmm, making it a bit heavy, but... Hey, don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face today. You're not wriggling yourself out of it this time, Sayori. I know it's been only a few days since we started talking again, but I've been thinking about this since, since Sunday. I know I'm not the one to talk about taking responsibility, but you seem to be very more concerned with other people's lives than your own. At least your parents are giving you guidance, right? Sayori? Uh, yeah, sure, they do. They sometimes give me tips. Uh. Does that didn't sound too convincing. Is she hiding something? Maybe it's because she never talked much about such serious subjects, at least not with me. I did talk about these things with Monica. You know, she's not just a great president, but a great friend too. She likes to give out writing tips to support everyone in improving their skills. One time she saw me when I wasn't okay. Ever since then, she, she, ever since that she occasionally checks up on me even. She even promised to keep in touch when she goes to law school. How about your hair glue, fuck? Oh yeah, I guess we could try to keep in touch after high school. Even if there's no telling where we'll each end up for college, or after that, I can at least try. It's not like we have to meet face to face in this day and age. Eh? I was asking about your plans. Oof. But it wouldn't make me happy if you tried. I don't think you realise it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all of these years. I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Right, okay. Yes. Ah, right, so yeah, he's coming back to this. I've only one more decision to make. So I have to pick one of these. Um, we had so many adventures together. I feel like that's going to take us on a whole thing about reminiscing about the past. Since the day we met. See, that could be leading on to one of those moments of, you know, since the day we met, I knew you were the one. <laughs> or something like that. Something cheesy, cliche and all that. Ooh. Since the day we met. Oh, okay. It just occurred to me that it was so many years ago, I've forgotten how we met. Did we first meet when you moved here when we were children? Oh, well, yeah, we saw each other when we moved in, but we didn't really meet each other until the fair. Oh, yeah, the fair. Now I remember, there used to be a summer fair that would come into town every year. Yeah, I remember, my parents took me. I was wandering around, looking at the games when I saw you there. You were crying your eyes out. I was a new to town and I didn't know any Barbie. I was alone and kind of scared in that big place. Yeah, I remember. So, you came over and asked why I was sad. When I said I didn't have any friends, you said you'd be my friend so I wouldn't have to be sad anymore. And I wasn't. Oh yeah, I remember. I just couldn't stand to see you upset. I guess I still can't. Oh, thanks, a heckler, Fag. You don't know how much that means to me. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Oh, <coughs> my voice nearly just break then. <laughs> Jeez. Any time, Sayori. How about we check out the... Oh wait, wrong voice. How about we check out the river? You know, like we used to. Uh, yeah. That's a non-verbal approval if I've ever heard one. If we make our way to the riverside, it's just as peaceful as it was in my memories. We approached the fence. It was so hard to jump over when we were kids. So I'm wondering, do the answers I pick there... Are they going to impact my chances with Sayori here? Hmm, I feel like... I feel like maybe there's like a good, a bad and a midway option there. But of course I don't know which ones were which. Maybe. We approach the fence. I hope Sayori climb over and I follow right after her. Ooh, the river side. Interesting. <laughs> we stand next to the river and watch the calmly flowing water. This is actually a narrow branch of the river that runs through the city. It looks so much more shallow and narrow than when we were kids. I could probably walk through to the other side without getting my face wet. As I'm assessing the possibilities of fighting against the current, Sayori started messing about on some boulders near the shoreline. I better go and check up on her in case she stumbles and starts drowning in one foot deep water. Eh, hey, 12 steps. 
A 13 steps. A 14. If we used to challenge each other to take steps on leaps from boulders to rocks and back, it was a lot more difficult back then. Even so, she doesn't need to jump between some anymore. She's still pretty clumsy about it. Hey, a 17. You're going to get your shoes soaking wet if you fall into water. Hey, I won't. Yep. <laughs> Just as she says it. Hey, whoa. Teen. She almost slipped on one of the rocks. I should probably go and help her out. When I get close to her, the biggest gap is right between us. Come on, let's go somewhere there, somewhere less slippery. I want a more. Nine. Teen car. Ah. Could have predicted that it was going to happen, eh? As she steps onto the stone in front of her, she loses her balance and grabs onto my arm. I lose my balance in turn and fall into the river now right next to her. Gah! How can the water be so cold in the middle of summer? I look up and see Sayori looking down at me still standing on the rock with dry clothes. Eh, hey, I'm sorry, eh? Hey. I can tell she's making an attempt at not laughing at me. It's not working out. She reaches out her arm to help me get up, but I motion her to not bother with it. Getting a vet at this point wouldn't help the situation at all. I'm fine. Just go to the shore without falling, okay? I walk through the water instead of trying to get back on the rocks. With these wet shoes, I could fall again and actually hurt something other than my dignity. Sayori's looking at me with a mix of pity and amusement. Just before coming out of the water, I call out to Sayori, motioning her to come closer. Are you okay, Hegloopfag? I lean down and splash some water at her with my cupped hand. I miss most of it, so. Eh, hey, meanie! It's only fair to share some of it. Sayori sticks out her tongue out, sticks her tongue out in response. Typical. Come on, let's go home. I don't like having my pants soaking wet. Ah, oh, okay. This is rarely an occasion when I wish for warmer weather into summer, but this is definitely one of them. We've wordlessly walked for a couple of minutes when Sayori's phone suddenly gives off a short melody. She's reading a short text message. Hmm. What's up? It's a Monica. She says we're having a meeting tomorrow at the same place. So, how long has it been since you all met before yesterday? Hmm, let me think. Uh, Sayori's humming to herself and slowly counts to three on her fingers. A three. Three volts, Sayori. Oh, sorry, hair. Yeah. Three weeks. Well, weeks? She's not German. Three weeks. Oh, well, almost a three. I met her with Monica a few times and with Natsuki once, but this is the first time we all came together outside of school. Well, I saw ya. I guess it makes sense since you probably met every weekday in the sick club. Hey, up. We continue on our way back home. Uh, thanks for going out with me, Herr Glubfack. I really had a fun today. I did get quite a laugh out of you at my expense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you feeling better, Herr Glubfack? I guess you are, but I need to change my vet clothes. Can I offer some of the dry humour? Nice one. A very funny style, Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you around, y'all. Yeah. Bye, Herr Glubfack. Oh. Man, that really wasn't the ending I expected for this day. Okay, so you're saying there's an alternate ending to that day, maybe? Oh, maybe I screwed it up with the choices. Knowing me, I probably did, yeah. I decided to spend the rest of my day at home to cheer myself up with my hobbies. Wednesday? Yeah! See? See? Yeah. I'm sorry, since, since when does the protagonist have a voice? That was random, okay, sure, whatever. I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. But okay, what I'm going to do actually here is I'm going to wrap this episode up. So, you know, I think we've been recording for, what, about 25 minutes or so there, which I think is decent size for an episode. We had a nice, uh, good day out with Sayori. Don't know if I maybe got the right choices there. I'm not sure. We'll see as the uh, game progresses. But I have a feeling we might be going to meet, well, we might be about to meet the uh, other girls again. So who knows? Maybe we'll uh, get something interesting going on there. In that case, hope you'll join me for episode four when I get around to doing that. In fact, I'll probably start recording it straight away, to be honest. Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with the Propagandist channel link and all that jazz. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill by now. But in the meantime, I'm signing off now. So, goodbye, everybody. Whatever you want to call them. Technically they're supposed to be fists, but...
that's how they refer to him, but technically he's using his fist to fire a magic thingy bobber. Oi! Get out of here! Stop it! I want that bubble, it's mine. Okay, and before we go there, where those yellow and blue ones are, on the right, there's a cave down here, which we may have some interesting secrets in with it. Let's go and have a look. So yeah, this is my favourite level of Rayman 2, this one, with all the underwater swimming. I'd probably also say that the underwater level in Rayman 3 is also one of my favourite Rayman levels. I didn't even need... Whoa, that was a bit of lag then. Jesus. <laughs> didn't like that falling.